Facts First presents… These photos from Dubai will probably shock you. With a population of close to 6 million people, Dubai is a city that attracts both tourists and job seekers in large numbers. The popular tourist destination offers myriad unexpected experiences. We've got some photos from Dubai that'll probably shock you. Before we share the photos, how about you jump down to the comments and let us know if you could go anywhere in the world to vacation or visit, where would it be? Tell us in the comments. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. A Fashion Destination Dubai is the Middle East's fashion capital. It has its very own fashion show, in fact. There's also a portion of the city solely dedicated to the fashion-minded. Dubai's crime rate is almost zero percent. That can be attributed to the UAE's stringent laws and the fact that foreigners could be easily deported or imprisoned for even the most minor acts of crime. The people who built the city's skyscrapers are mostly immigrants from India, Bangladesh, and Pakistan. In fact, people from these countries constitute more than 50 percent of Dubai's population. The Emiratis make up 17 percent. Foreigners make up the remainder. Dubai comes down really hard on its residents who do not make timely payments on their debts. In fact, people who default on their credit card or miss loan payments, they could be deported or even imprisoned. Dubai is a hot place, with temperatures effortlessly breaching the 120 degrees mark. If it wasn't for the excessive air conditioning in the city, buildings there would literally start to melt. Dubai had its metro rail system with 42 stations up and running in 2009, completed in only 18 months. It's the world's fifth best-performing metropolitan economy globally, thanks to its flourishing trade and tourism sectors. Due to Dubai's rate of growth, the city does not have a conventional address system yet. The mailing labels, instead, offer a space where residents can write out instructions or even draw a map. Camel racing is Dubai's most favorite sport. Earlier, only children were allowed to race camels due to the camel's size, but with the issues of child trafficking bringing negative attention to the city, child-sized robots were built to race the camels. Dubai's Mall of the World would be a massive 50 million square feet urban space that would accommodate the largest shopping mall in the world, parking space for more than 50,000 vehicles and 20,000 hotel rooms. It's a mini city. Dubai does things big. Dubai's hotels, for instance, the Burj Al Arab, are extremely luxurious. The Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, is in Dubai. Also, Dubai has the biggest aquarium, largest indoor mall, the most impressive indoor ski park, and the tallest hotel. In Dubai, you can be deported or imprisoned for having sex outside of marriage. PDA is also not considered acceptable. Holding hands might be fine, but even that depends on where exactly you are in the city. Burj Al Arab's hotel's interiors are adorned with almost 1,790 square meters of gold. It's so much gold, they could actually buy 46,265 paintings of the Mona Lisa. It's considered a seven-star hotel. Burj Al Arab is the world's fourth tallest hotel. Dubai churns out 50,000 to 70,000 drums of oil every day. During 1991, they made 400,000 such barrels. Currently, oil makes up for a small percentage of the city's GDP. Real estate and tourism industries have long surpassed Dubai's oil sector as the major GDP contributors. About 24 percent, or 30,000, of the 125,000 construction cranes in the world are currently at work in Dubai, thanks to the city's real estate boom and burgeoning construction. Palm Jumeirah is, according to the people of Dubai, the world's eighth wonder. It's shaped to look like a palm tree from the top, and it houses close to 30 resorts and hotels. It's an amazing man-made island. There's so much sand, it could actually fill the Empire State Building two and a half times. The highest tennis court in the world is in Dubai. A green roof sitting on top of this luxury hotel, the Burj Al Arab, 
can also be a makeshift tennis court. In fact, tennis legends Roger Federer and Andre Agassi they were once invited to the place for a friendly game of tennis. Dubai has more than 400 skyscrapers. It only had one in 1991. The road named after Sheikh Zayed, where the World Trade Center of Dubai is located, is the city's skyscraper avenue, with majestic, tall buildings lining either side of the road. In fact, Burj Khalifa is one of them. License plates are viewed as a sign of status and prestige. In Dubai, some license plates can be sold and purchased for more than $14 million, with single-digit number plates being the most desirable, followed by two-digit numbers, and so on. Some Dubai ATMs dispense gold. An ATM in the Dubai Mall dispenses 24-karat gold in the form of coins, bars, or jewelry. Choose the form of gold you prefer and pay for it via credit card or cash. Close to 33% of the GDP of Dubai is courtesy of its airport. The airport there contributes close to $22 billion to the city's GDP. The chunk of the revenue of Dubai comes from commerce, transportation, financial services, trading, tourism, and retail. Oil constitutes only 2%. Abandoned luxury cars are all over the city. The Sharia law of UAE imprisons people who do not make prompt payments on their car. Citizens who can't pay their car payments on time quite understandably choose to flee the country instead of staying back and getting imprisoned. And in doing so, the cars they leave behind have remained untouched ever since. Exotic animals are fashion statements. The rich people of Dubai have always had this propensity for owning wild animals, such as cheetahs and tigers, as pets, even though the act is illegal. These exotic animals are available online. The sellers smuggle them into Dubai from their habitats. A Dubai journalist was banned for his good looks. Omar Borkan Algala, a Dubai journalist, was forced to exit Saudi Arabia because he was too attractive. Saudi Arabian authorities thought the journalists might end up corrupting impressionable ladies at the Jenadraya, an annual heritage and cultural festival. Heat Ready Bus Stops Dubai's bus stops are unlike any other. They're basically small enclosures with built-in air conditioning so that people waiting for their respective buses don't sweat it out in the heat. Dubai is an extremely hot place. Daytime temperatures during January, their coldest month, average 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Low temperatures are 57 degrees on average. Dubai's summers can be extremely hot, humid, and windy, the highest average temperatures being 106 degrees Fahrenheit, average lows being 86 degrees Fahrenheit in August. Alcohol consumption is okay, only if you're not a Muslim. Tourists can drink legally in licensed restaurants, bars, and hotels in Dubai. However, it is not okay to drink publicly, even on the beach. It's punishable by law. There are a lot of cars. In 1968, Dubai's car population was only 13. 13 cars total in Dubai in 1968. Well, thanks to development over the years, the modern-day Dubai traffic is extremely congested. To remedy the issue, the city introduced double-decker roads in different areas. Dubai houses the world's largest indoor ski park. Ski Dubai – it's situated in the Dubai Mall. It's an indoor ski resort spanning 22,500 square meters. There's also a snow park covering a 3,000-square-meter area. The indoor resort has a mountain, which is 85 meters high, and it has five slopes of different steepnesses and a running space for 400-meter dashes. Dubai was once a thriving pearl industry. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, Dubai was the world's major pearl farming hub. However, the industry later collapsed thanks to World War I, the Great Depression, and the Japanese inventing cultured pearls. The world's biggest theme park will come soon to Dubai. The under-construction Dubai Land will be a theme park that's planned to be two times the size of Disney World, attracting 200,000 visitors per day. Also, Dubai has many man-made islands, for instance, the glorious Palm Jumeirah. The world's largest aquarium The largest indoor aquarium in the world is the Dubai Aquarium. 
To view more than 33,000 aquatic animals, you can go on a ride at the aquarium's glass-enclosed bottom. Also, there is a massive ice skating rink in the aquarium. Female Empowerment Dubai has a women-only police force. Besides handling the city's theft and fraud cases, the female officers also take care of gender-specific issues that would usually not be appropriate for male officers to handle. A Tourism Haven Kim Kardashian West, among several other celebrities, has visited Dubai. Kim stopped by the Gold City to host a makeup masterclass and also indulge in a fair bit of shopping. Low Crime the Dubai's police force uses some of the most expensive cars as their workhorses. The city comes down heavily on people who break the law. All the rules and investment in the police department has paid off because the city is considered one of the safest places in the world. A Culture Clash The women in the Middle East are usually expected to dress conservatively. And while Dubai is no exception to that, it certainly is a lot more tolerant toward the display of foreign culture on its shores. It means that you'll invariably see people who embrace Western culture and individuals with conservative Islamic thoughts sharing the same breathing space. Lax Requirements There is no strict women dress code in Dubai. Visitors can wear more revealing Western outfits in public. Also, Muslim women are not expected to cover their heads. A Growing Footprint Dubai was predominantly a desert with a handful of skyscrapers in 2005. Currently, Dubai is no more just a barren desert. It is a flourishing global city with myriad gardens, fountains, and tall buildings. What glitters in Dubai is actually gold. Dubai's gold market is one of the biggest in the world. Dubai locals embrace the gold market like none other, becoming experts in the metal over time. If you want the most unusual thing plated in gold, you can probably find it in Dubai. Bigger is better The tallest tower in the world, the Burj Khalifa, is in Dubai. It's 2,722 feet in height. Moreover, Dubai is also the home to the largest indoor ski facility in the world and some of the largest malls. Family-friendly public spaces there are some Dubai beaches reserved only for families and women. Moreover, people visiting the beach should wear modest outfits. This rule specifically applies to women who should be appropriately draped when at the beach. Hands in place Dubai doesn't entertain public displays of affection, or PDA. Married couples can hold their hands when in public, but they cannot express themselves too much beyond that. Owning a zoo the Dubai's rich own a zoo with lions, monkeys, and baboons to showcase their wealth. This practice has been tamed down significantly since 2017 when the act of owning exotic pets was banned by the state. Camels are aplenty Camels are synonymous with the deserts of the Middle East, and their significance is beyond just racing. In Dubai, there are food items made from camel milk or camel meat. In the desert, outside the city, camel safaris are quite common and popular. Cars and Traffic The city has spent billions just to manage its road traffic. In 2009, the Dubai Metro was launched primarily to help reduce the number of vehicles on the city's roads. Charitable People The wealthy of Dubai are quite generous, and their magnanimity is usually on display during the holy month of Ramadan. During the month, you'd see free food stands positioned strategically to serve the unemployed or poor. Shopping Capital of the World Dubai is planning to build the largest mall in the world, called the Mall of the World. The mall would be 8 million square feet in area and house more than 100 hotels, which should serve close to 80 million visitors each year. There are plans to build a park bigger than London's Hyde Park. Subscribe for more!